Greetings everyone, this is BJ Black from No Export For You, and welcome to part 22 of my Let's Play of Mold Moose Quest Paradox RPG, Confrontation Chapter. There's a tiny little uncharted island here in the inner sea. I didn't think about it until I came through here. But it's the forest of sheep. And there are a bunch of sheep girls here. Hey, they can open their eyes. They're kind of cute. Okay, this is the sheep's boss. So what do we need? Well, let's talk. This is a carpet workshop. It echoes with the screams and moans of the sheep. And okay. If you want a carpet, go ahead and place an order. It's the highest quality in the world. I guarantee it. Carpet, huh? We don't really need it. This one here says that beyond here, nobody who isn't a sheep is allowed in. Yeah, okay. So what's the point of this island? I don't know yet. Probably I'll be able to find something out about it later. No, I went and did it again. Okay, here's another island. Who knows what it is. But it's right here. Anyway. This is a bag of tools, nothing interesting in it. This is just a corpse. This is a box of tools, nothing interesting in it. And this is an old diary. It says, since I came to this island, it's been half a month. I've run out of the food I brought in the boat. So, now it's already nothing left to do but wait to die. While aimlessly wandering the island, I traveled up a long, long slope, and it seemed like mist came out of my surroundings. The compass wouldn't give a proper direction, so I couldn't proceed properly. And from the surroundings I felt a unusual presence. Continuing to climb the long slope, I arrived at a stone monument. It seemed like a pretty old piece of work, but I was somehow able to make out the inscription. The contents of the inscription were exceedingly strange, unsettling. Who did it and why? And the uncanny presence I felt got thicker and thicker as the mist continued to descend upon the, the island. Maybe as an adventurer's duty, I wrote this missive in a hurry. If anybody reads this diary, flee this island at once. And there it ends. Hmm, there isn't any stone monument or anything. On this tiny island there isn't even such a slope Hmm, perhaps going to die he hallucinated the whole thing? Or... Or... Well, we can't tell, can we? Okay. Oops, Tartaros. And just like the directions told us, the spider hideout is to the north of it. So, buried away in a forest, we'll find a cave. Could this be the land of solitude? The so-called hideout of the spiders?
Well, since it's underground and it's cramped, the spiders actually rather like it. It's well suited to them. Alice the 17th defeated the spider empress and she fled here. And even now, from this location, she's directing the spiders that are going crazy in Grand Gold. So, this spider empress, is this different from a queen? And what kind of person is it? Well, she's the leader of the spiders. And she has ascended to the queen and sect throne. But due to her cruelty, she was ousted pretty much immediately. She's a nasty piece of work. Cruel. Evil. She likes to conquer weak peoples. Uh, quite the vulgar type. For that reason, we better not think about trying to talk her out of her decisions. We just need to, you know, fight her. Since she's not somebody we can sympathize with at all, in a certain way this will be an easy fight. Yeah, Luca likes to hand ring over people and their problems. Yeah, that kind of person I can wield my sword against without regret. But don't let her down there. Guard down. She is on a level strength-wise with queen with other monster queens. She's exceedingly strong physically and together with that also has high magic power. All right. Let's go do it. Hmm. What's a human doing in this place? Get lost. Sorry, but we need to get through here. We need to have the Spider Empress hold her attack on Grangold. Oh, you plan on hurting her? In that case, I'll defeat you here. Yeah, good luck doing it this time. All right, let's go. This is a spider's nest, so take care. Of all the labyrinths in the game, this spider's nest is the worst. Which makes sense, I suppose. It's cramped, winding. Mm. Come on. And it has all kinds of dead ends all over the place. Sometimes it isn't really clear about which way you need to be going, either. Occasionally there will be a door, and right next to it, the edge of the screen, you need to go off the edge of the screen. That kind of thing. Here's a vine you need to climb. That one's easy to miss, in particular. This one, yeah, this was what I was thinking of. Stairs right there, but you go to the edge of the screen to move on. Well, there's something to do over there, but... Yeah, as you can see, I'm not worrying about treasures. That's a decoy, that's a decoy. This is the way to the boss. Ah, carpet. That means we're out finally to the boss's area. Recovery bot. Okay. Spider Empress. Oh, a human hero. So, what did you come here to do? 
We want you to pull your troops out from ground gold. And if you don't, if I don't, then what? Are you going to swing your sword at me? <laughs> well, since you're someone who's so full of vulgar ambition, we're not going to get our... I don't think we'll be getting through to you with our words. So, we're going to show our power and get you to stop. Well then, interesting. Bring all the power you got and try to defeat me. And if you can, I'll pull my troops back. Ha! I'll even be your mistress. I won't let you retract those words. Here we go. Even if we win, you're not being his mistress, though. Ah, Sonia. Looked like a couple of my characters died. Ha, ah, to think I, fighting against a human, a hero, would taste defeat. All right, you remember what you promised before the battle, right? Very well. As a noble monster, I won't go back on my word. I'll pull all my spider forces out from Grand Gold's territory. Furthermore, I will be your mistress. Hmm, that's the promise. You don't need to uphold that part of it. But, you'll have to wait a little while before the wedding. It's rather sudden, and I have preparations to make. Primarily, preparing my heart. Eh. Don't just continue the conversation like that. Furthermore, she's elevating herself from mistress to a proper wife. How impudent. Ha. Uh, Sonia, it's funny how jealous you get. But, anyway. If you're pulling out the troops, then... We'll say it's okay. With regard to the spider army. It's not okay. Hmm. Well, some unusual complications worked its way in, but with regards to the spiders, yeah, we've handled it. Let's go report to King Grangold. So then, I've got to gather up what I need to be a wife. Hmm, I didn't think about this before, so it could take some time. Gee gee gee. Sonia, you're so silly. So this time I'll actually go talk to King John Gold. Ah, welcome to Grand Gold Palace. The king's in our party, but he's also here. Well, Making use of magic, I just made another body. My will is only one, however, so one will always be a bit clumsy in his movements, so unusable in battle. Anyway, you've defeated the Spider Empress, and I've heard the reports from the front line that the spiders have pulled out. As thanks from our kingdom, please take this. This is a treasure remaining from the first king. It should be of great use. So, magic wielder's soul. Hmm, yeah, this is another one of those treasures passed down in the royal lines. With this, we can get to the higher levels of the magician class of jobs. So, still the other countries are suffering from the attacks from the other monster queens. So, please defeat them and 
fix everything up for us. Yeah, sure. Let's just do everything you want to do. Who's the other one? That's right. I never claimed the reward from Grand Gold. Grand Noah. So, this was the Queen Elves and the Queen Elf and the Queen Fairy we defeated. Well, the fairy earlier than the elf. So that's how it was. Those girls held a grudge against us. Come to think of it, we didn't really think about the people we displaced when we set up our kingdom. But from this point onward, we'll be handling it through diplomacy. So it's an affair of state we'll handle from here on out. Nevertheless, you've done a wonderful work for our kingdom. So, Hero Luca, as thanks for saving our kingdom, please receive this. Job Soul. Hmm. Another one of these royal lineage treasures. With this, we can get to the high level classes of the chef and maid types, and a few others. So, other queens are attacking other countries, so continue with your work. Yeah, sure. You know, after getting some of these high... the high-level job items, this guy will explain mastery to you. If you have a certain kind of weapon on a certain class, then that class's mastery of the weapon comes into play. It greatly enhances the power of the attacks and skills that use it. So blah blah blah. But more importantly... I... I'm not sure which particular job item allows it, but I can change Puppy to our highest dragon classes. Like this one, Dragon God. That's awesome enough, I just have to do it. I'll need another item for these two, but Minnie gets one. Oh. Oops, again. Minnie's race. She can change to Elber Harpy from Speed Harpy. An interesting thing I noticed is here there's a job later on that requires Elder Harpy, what I'm going to change her to. And these two other Harpy classes apparently upgraded. So if you get this one, this one, and this one in the Harpy line, you qualify for the last one with another item. Still looking forward to it. In any case, you're an Elder Harpy now, Minnie. Despite being, like, 12. Anyway. One of the things I did when I grinded of my levels off-screen was I got the Adventurer class, which gives me after-battle rest in here. As well as... What other uh, did I get for all these girls? Oh yes, the hero class, which gives them goddesses' protection, allowing them to revive once in battle. Also quite useful. There's something else. No, I think that's good. So... That'll be about it. Let's get ready for the next area. Next time we're going to... Oh yes, the Vampire Citadel. I want to be at Goldfort. So, thanks for watching, and next time we're going to tackle the Vampire Citadel off to the northeast.